Tubians. Dan here from Chasing Bones Inspectors. So, you want to be a paranormal investigator. Fantastic. So, our first lesson was about how to do certain things, and, and you can check out the, the first episode. Um, on this episode, we're not going live because these this episode, I can show you some techniques um, that you can use tomorrow when you go out in the field. Okay, um, so I'm going to show you these two techniques, uh, two different uh, things you can do while you're out there in the field doing research. And uh, yeah, so I hope you can use these techniques on your next adventure and uh, hopefully you get some bang up results from them, you know. Uh, sometimes you got to do it a bunch of times and sometimes you don't get no results. Uh, but when you do finally get one, when it, when it actually works, it'll blow your socks off right so uh so anyway two things uh for you to check out i'm gonna i'm gonna put them on right after this and uh at the end of it i'll just you know have another little word or two to say and that'll be that hello how are you today my youtube so i just wanted to show you this is baby powder and this is one of the things that we use sometimes on investigations and i'm just gonna do it on here just because you spread baby powder like this, you see? And I'll just put a little bit there, see? There. Now, what I like to use is this cross I have because it's light and because it's a religious thing, spirits might use it more easy. And you make sure you just drop it on there and as you can see, there's no marks, no nothing. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll say to the spirits, uh, go ahead, if you like, and if you want to, you can move that for me, uh, so that the, so that my YouTubians can see. You see. So now what you would do is you'd put that in a room somewhere where there's no wind. There's absolutely no wind here. Uh, make sure there's absolutely nothing that can touch it and close that area off and uh, you can come back after and look to see if there's any movement in it um, if you've got an extra camera you can actually even put a camera on there uh, offside just to see if it actually does move um, unfortunately we don't have very many cameras so we we just normally just leave it and then we'll come back and see if it's been moved uh, but we we definitely make sure that the area cannot be contaminated by anything uh, otherwise it would be a really a pointless test and it's a mess that we'd have to clean up after all right so this is one uh, little thing that you can use on your investigations if you like uh, and we'll see what happens so it's been about an hour so you'd come over and just look to see if anything has been moved if there's any lines or anything of that nature <coughs> and as you can see in this case nothing has moved and uh what i'm gonna try to do is lift this up without making a mess okay so as you can see there's no no lines or anything but had it been like that and it had been moved even a little bit okay you can see how the lines will be made so you can tell that it has been moved and a lot of times you will see that that actually happens so that's another very good thing to do uh, when you're first starting an investigation and it's, it's an old technique but it really works good what you're hearing is a white noise generator uh, you can just go on on uh, the YouTube and you punch in white noise and there's all different kinds I like the celestial white noise but as you can hear it it's just a, a simple white noise uh, that you can use when you're doing uh, ghost box or anything else what I do or what one of the things that we do is this I have this little player so I record
record 10 minutes of white noise or you can use brown noise too any anything like that and just like you would use a spirit box there won't be any radio interference or nothing but you can um, put a speaker on your little uh, Sony player or whatever player you have and have the white noise be loud and then sit beside it with your uh, whatever you're recording your uh, EVPs with and ask questions and sometimes uh, just just put your put your uh, record equipment there hit record have this noise loud and ask questions and see if you don't get uh, answers coming through the white noise um, and then no one can say to you oh well that's a radio interference because there is no radio interference it's just white noise uh, so that's another one you can do and I have gotten a couple times I have gotten um, EVPs by doing this so this is another trick that you can throw in the bag of tricks uh, to give it a try and experiment with and see what you can do with it but all you do is just record this white noise like this any any place on YouTube just type in white noise and then you'll find a white noise generator record it on some kind of a recording machine so you can play it later and then you can record yourself asking questions with the white noise playing now you've got two more tools to put in your in your tool bag uh, for when you're going out and doing investigations uh, these two tools, uh, they both work. Uh, you know, sometimes you go three, four investigations, five investigations, and neither one of these tricks will work. Uh, but then all of a sudden, bang, you know, it'll work. You know, so one out of eight times, it, you, you will, uh, it will work. So go out, give it a try, you know. Uh, when you set up the the uh, baby powder or you can use white flour uh, and depending on how much moisture white flour might be even better but anyway uh, you can set them up uh, when as soon as you start your investigation but make sure it's in a spot where there could be no interference from any person or the wind or anything like that you want it to be a very secure uh, spot and then you can do the the baby powder or the white flour uh, evidence and see if your item is moved and if it is moved you're gonna really uh, be excited about that and as for the white noise generator uh, what I do or what what I would suggest is take 10 minutes of white noise uh, do it 10 minutes at a time so on your investigation you might do use the white noise generator for three or four times for about 10 minutes uh, depending on how many hours you're at that location and how many different spots in the location because it might not work in say you go to a spot and you got four places you want to investigate maybe it'll only work in one of the four places right so yeah feel free to play around with the white noise generator and use your recorder and tape yourself asking questions and see if you don't hear a voice coming through the white noise uh, that's a pretty interesting uh, test for you to try and, and enjoyment and uh, sometimes, sometimes you'll hear something, you know. Uh, not always, but every now and then uh, you will get a voice coming through there. Uh, just depends on how cooperative the spirits want to be and whether or not they want to talk to you. So anyway, give those two things a try. Uh, happy hunting, all right? Now remember, take care of yourselves, take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> and have a great day.